All right, let's take a look at this here. This is going to be shot one only with a slight hint of the other one right there. All right. Cool. I think this is definitely better. Look at this here. All right. So I think what's definitely working a lot better are the uh, dinosaurs arcs. They're a bit flat still in some areas, so I'd watch out if you would track, doesn't matter, like any point here, I'm gonna track this area here, whoops, should be lower, and then here, and then here, and then once it gets to there, you can see the flattening of it, more or less how I'm drawing this. Right through there. You can feel how it just suddenly flattens out. You're starting your arc and then e and then continue. Uh, but it's definitely much better. <coughs> but it still has a bit of a flat feel there. So there are a couple things that I would look at. Once you get into something like this, you got to be careful that there seems to be a translate down. There's like a very distinct move down on that neck. That doesn't seem, it just seems very disconnected from the rest of the body and doesn't quite affect the rest of it. And the same with the rotation up on the head. I would try to, maybe you can't go higher with the chest. Maybe you can just do kind of a half-half, meaning that when, once you're here, even through here as the head goes up, I see some movement here. But imagine that maybe you can curve that uh, chest down even more. Maybe that's something where then you get a bit more of a curvature here it might feel too round but in general i'm saying that if this is curved down more so you rotate the chest down more and then through here you rotate down up a bit more and then by now you rotate up maybe if that's breaking it too far and that's as high as you can go then you just have to rotate down and go backwards from there it just feels like you have i got dog hair in my mouth sorry <laughs> that's really distracting me now for this past couple of minutes there I was snuggling with my dog, my face in his face. But anyway, there's just a lot of separate movement, I feel, still in that head that doesn't quite affect the rest of the body. And especially through there, it feels a very distinct forward pull downwards translate there. Even through here, I can see that there is movement going on to the right here. There's such a distinct rawr arc in a forceful arc this way i don't feel that speed and that influence through this section if that makes sense same thing here it might just be i don't know if it's a controller that you have that affects kind of that that middle section of the neck but same thing here there's something you can see in this shape as if it was broken through here kind of translates down right through there you can see that 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 line there it goes down and then up here it must be a middle controller because i see also some uh left and right that doesn't feel quite tied into this and that it's as if you have from a top view you know the head will be here and then the chest whatever will be here and then that neck goes out this way and then something goes out this way where you got that little kink there switch out now in terms of movement I think your arms are better. I still feel like I would be careful fanning out too far. I'm more in favor of something that's that's in. Even here, you could rotate that, um, what's it called? The claw, the hands, you know, the that section there. So it's a bit more, let me find something. If it's a bit more like this, finding a frame that I can reference. To me, it's more like what this arm is doing. Not that you have to go full on Mr. Burns, uh, you know, with his hands like that. But I feel like there's something a bit more creature and raptor-like, and not raptor, but, you know, dinosaur-like, where it's like that, versus out like this. Very tricky once you get too far out with the, with the claws out and the hands out, that it's a bit more, it's a bit more inward. And speaking of which, if you look at, I'm going to go back a bit here. If you look at, the hands are definitely better. It doesn't feel as jerky, but it has a slight, spliny soft feel to it so it's i wouldn't say split the difference because you don't want pops in it but you have to look at elements where the it's not just nice arcs and moving like this but it has moments of of 
I would say jerkiness, but without without pops, where it's kind of that, and it follows, and then I imagine it goes when the hands are like this, and the head goes up into this, it would just be and when it eats on the ground, it has just moments of twitches and muscles, and just some jerkiness, so that you can have a little bit of um, what I would call dirt in the arcs. Not again that it has to be super poppy. But like sometimes you have your arms and a little bit of a jerk in there and a jerk in there. But it's not, again, it's not like a one frame pop. But there are some elements where it will feel just less soft. Like through here, that arc. Let's go back. Where's that big head move here? Like here. I think having that open up can work. I like this here, how that contracts there, it gets together. Stuff like that is great. But then you have something like this, and this is kind of the main thing that illustrates my point. When you have the head going down, and I look at those arms, they're very tight. They're almost twin there. They're both kind of doing the same thing, and it's all very even in timing, which kind of takes away. Because you also want to look at it in terms of what kind of movement you want to put in there that make that creature look threatening. It's eating, and it's a predator, and it's those little harsher twitches in there. And I know that we're looking here. So technically it goes, it goes down. And then ooh, audience's eye goes there. And then we're looking there. And I think that keep alive is good in terms of um, not distracting from this. The audience, I don't feel like the audience will be distracted in terms of where I'm supposed to look at. But once you get to there, this feels more like it's just kind of sniffing and rubbing its nose. And if there's anything you can do where it still has that, that feel of its eye, it goes, biting those moments of biting and something cracks just again it's a very fine line between pops but you want to bring in a bit more harshness and the feeling of the jaw biting on through muscles and then tearing and some pulling and maybe through a bone and bam cracking that bone again all in a minimal way that doesn't distract from this of course but that's what i would try there i do like that that hit move out there. Boing right there. I think that's kind of cool. It's cool. If you do this, right? If you have like a step here and then that stomach area comes out, I would just pull the knee over this way, the knee controller, so that the upper thigh moves out as well, just to give the illusion of here from here on-ish. You got this body mass pushing against this body mass. So when this pushes, that that part of the leg goes out this way because this is pushing. So it will feel a bit more connected and have less of that. See, if I'm looking at this area compared to this, it doesn't react at all. It's just kind of stiff and you want some reaction to uh, what the body's doing, the stomach area. And it would probably help you also to kind of block out. That's my chair. Oh, it's such an old chair. I got to get a new chair. And you want to potentially, I know what you want to do. And again, not that it has to be super detailed, but you want to show the flapping and when it comes in so you get a better idea. And just in case it kind of might change some of your you're acting, dino acting, you know, are you saying potentially like the whole piece goes in the mouth here, but maybe if you want to find some detail during this, it doesn't feel like it's just kind of gradually going down with no business. You can always have the thing flop over right through here. It goes flops in and then has just a piece coming out here. And then through there, you can have a little bit of an arc that goes whoop like that. And during that moment when the head goes back over this way in a bit of a sharper moment, the jaw would open a little bit, and it's that last sucking in of that piece, just with a little tongue thing, just kind of bring that piece in, and then it goes back into eating. I do like this a lot, though, how it just kind of the snout moves that forward, opens up, and then it moves that piece here. I think that stuff is super cool. And then the other one, um, let me pause this. I want to make sure that I see your mail. Actually, your mail is right here. 
So you managed to change the arms to FK and the neck and the head to IK now. That's all. It's probably what I'm reacting to that the IK feel there. Uh, and you're seeing that those it feels like he's bouncing and not very natural. So I don't. Let's see here. I don't think it's that bad. It definitely has a bit of a smooth this and this this area. I think to me what you can do is it seems like you know in your graph header it has a very smooth curvature to it. But I would try through I don't mind this one. So a couple things here. On that first one, when that shoulder goes up, I don't see anything in the head. So you're gonna see a little bit of a like the smoothness, you can you, there are a couple of things you can do. On that bam, on one of the steps, you will have the head react to that shoulder coming up there, but you can have a bit of a sharper dip in the head for some overlap there and some impact. That's gonna give you some sharpness. Then you're gonna have these guys here move and dip a bit. That gives you also a bit some sharpness. But then on the body and shoulder, this and this, it's a bit better through here because you have a bit of a pause. So what I'm gonna say is that through there, what you wanna do is as this hand and that forearm goes down, right through here, bam, I'm looking at this and it's very soft. So in your graph editor, it feels like if that shoulder goes up, it feels like this, and you want your shoulder um, to go up where it's, it has a slight feel of this, where it's not flat and it's not linear, but it's kind of 45 degree broken tangent, so that you, bam, see, you're, you're already going up a bit too much. So I would probably also go a bit less, but you can cheat the surface here and just bring the arm down, but... Basically, what's going on through here, Phil, this is such a dip, that side of the body, and then the arm is so high here. Feels like this is the lowest you want to go through here. And this is a bit too low. Feels like there's that breakage here. So for me, if maybe here-ish, around here. And then when that, when the, uh, the foot goes down and it takes a step here, that impact imagine there's no anticipation of this area going up it's m almost flat so that bam on that impact you would have your curve that it's kind of broken so again not that your curve needs to look like this it's a li fully linear tangent there but you have a bit of a slowdown and a bit of a ease out of that so again it's not flat and not linear but almost 45 so that you feel the the change of direction because that arm goes down and it's going to Bam, push up that shoulder but it's not a full-on linear so it doesn't pop and take the, the sense of weight out but it's a definite change of direction because well, I'm putting my arm down and now that arm upon impact is going to shoot up that shoulder so it's just not super spliny but not super linear Bam, and once you have that it's going to have all that weight on here but that's always the trick when you have so when it goes down it's a bit linear but then you don't want to go all the way up into the highest point. You want to go pretty high and then soften it. You also don't want to go high and then stop it. So it's basically the arm puts, you know, it takes a step that shoots the shoulder up and it's kind of that, bam, that initial weight on it. And that's going to be the major shoot up there. But then it's not done because then you're going to put your weight over it and that's going to put the extra, you know, lasting weight on it. And that's going to bring up the shoulder just a bit more. But then it's going to rest on there until you change direction. So once you're here, I would try to hold this position a bit longer. Let's go back here. Wah, wah, wah. It just seems like you want to... And maybe by getting there a bit sooner, you can hold two, three frames. Ah, you might argue it's already there. You have a hold there. It just feels very... Wah, wah. It just feels very soft like that versus brr, brr, just a more sharper change of direction and, and longer holds on, on each side. It's even through here when you shoot up here, which is cool, then you already slowly come down. So watch out right at the end. Right there. It doesn't do a brr, and I'm stepping. And then you can have... You imagine gorillas where they have that knuckle down, that fully extended arm, and they kind of lock that arm. You can still have 
left and right movement for balance, right? So if I have my arms down, you could still have that left and right, but the whole shoulder, that section wouldn't come down in a spliny way. And I think that's the, the softness. And I think if you look at the whole thing, it gives you that doing, doing, doing. That's, I'm assuming that's the bounciness that you're feeling because it doesn't have really a, a harsh resting point, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But that's it. That's what I would have to say. I would get into that, and that's going to help the feeling of the shot a lot more. And actually, one last thing as I'm scrubbing. Um, I don't see the detail, and it's kind of hidden, but watch out. That leg, it feels like it's a big move this way while the chest goes this way. Right there. This seems a bit broken. Where it feels like the head is here. And then you have, you know, the chest here, but then it feels like the hip is here with the leg. So it, it just, that's kind of how it feels, but it's kind of broken there as opposed to the head. And then you would have, so it's, hold on, let me just do this. So maybe it's better than my ramblings. It feels like this is the spine versus something like that, where you take your chest and you rotate it over. And then you have your, your spine here. This is a nicer line of action through there. This just feels bam, broken through there. I don't know, you can check that's in your scene on top view. Kind of watch out for that. That's it. All right. Um, as always, any questions, let me know. Let me know in the email. But that is it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.